What's up guys, today we're going to be reviewing a very special product. It was made on Mars by aliens. Yes, you guessed it. Or you just read the title of the video. It's a Tesla decanter, baby. Let's go. Now, if you like YouTube reviews from a guy who just likes cool ass shit and just having a good time, then you're definitely in the right place. Please subscribe. But if you don't, then you're definitely not in the right place. Just get out of here. So let's get right into it. All right. In terms of price, this thing's not cheap. I think it was 179 Canadian. Not sure what that is in US, but it's not cheap. Okay. Cool thing is, is I did look up some other decanter prices. Okay. I'm going to throw them up on the screen quickly just so you see. Yeah, you could get cheaper ones, but you know, you're getting a lot for what you pay in my opinion but we'll get to that at the end so first things first let's talk about the box okay because the box the box is sexy baby very very nice very you know if you're into the matte black type of thing like i am you're gonna love it uh i like you almost just want to keep the box you know the box is beautiful they everything they do is top notch in my opinion the writing on this thing is is gorgeous super super nice I mean, look at this. What better do you need than that? Super clean, super nice, good quality. And it says, uh, made on earth by humans. <laughs> if you have to say humans, there's no way they're humans. But anyways, that's another, that's a whole other point. The bottle itself too. I mean, I, I pulled it up for you guys. I'll put some more footage for you. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Okay. Now in terms of practicality, get to it in a sec okay maybe not the most practical thing but it's freaking beautiful okay now why the electric thing i mean they're going electric it's tesla right we all know that so why the thunderbolt design i mean super cool design super different tesla engineers did it again the the only thing with the design in my opinion that's a little weird but i, I kind of get why they did it they did it for aesthetical reasons the stand the stand is not my favorite okay I like it, but I'm worried that it's going to fall. And that's obviously not very cool for something you're spending so much money on. But you keep it protected for that one reason alone. You know what I mean? Not a big deal, but yeah. If they would have made it a little more stable, I think it probably would have had to take away from the design and they don't want to do that. So it kind of makes sense. Now, in terms of practicality, this puppy holds up to 750 mLs, right? So you, you're going to fit a regular size bottle in there, okay? No issues there. If you're going to buy a Magnum or some crazy stuff and you like to party, this is not the, this is not the decanter for you, okay? This is more of a statement piece, okay? It's not the most practical decanter you're ever going to get. And if you're buying it for that, I mean, come on. You're buying it for other reasons. Now, you're going to need a funnel with this guy, okay? I didn't think of that when I bought it, but pouring at the top, you know, how do you do it? I, I did it, but I spilt a bunch everywhere and just, just get a funnel. I don't know why the liquid hole is so freaking small, but who cares? It's beautiful. And realistically, most people that are buying this may not even use it as a decanter. You may just keep it in the box forever as a collectible, but it's something to think about. You know, you're spending 179. If you're planning to use it and you don't have a funnel, get one. And Tessa says well, each of these things is hand blown, whatever that means. I mean, I don't know how that works. I know they do that in Venice too. Like they hand, like they're famous for hand blown glass. Not sure how that works. Like, what do you just have like a piece of glass and you just like, and it just turns into a li lightning bolt. Like, I don't know how that works. Okay. Maybe it's stupid. I'm sorry. I don't know. So finally, let's talk about value. Okay? You're buying a conversation starter here. You're not buying the most practical decanter on the market. Okay. What are you doing looking at this in the first place? If you're trying to find the most practical thing, don't buy something so expensive. Just go get a $40 decanter to hold your freaking liquid. Okay, but if you're looking for a statement piece that's going to get a conversation started at the dinner table and people say, oh, where'd you get that? How much did it cost? Is that the Tesla tequila? It's not the Tesla tequila, but it's close. Um, some people go, oh, and kind of make you feel bad. You're like, ah, oh, I wish I could have got that, but I didn't. Um, and just other side of things is just a collectible. So in terms of value for 179, if Tesla does really end up being what we think they could be, or what, at least what I think they could be, 
which is the most influential company of all time and the most valuable company of all time, you get to be part of history, man. It's a little, little part of history that you get to keep and you get to show your kids and you get to put on a bookshelf and then one day they break it and you can't buy another one and you kill them and you end up in jail. Um, so don't do that. That That's for sure. But anyways, hope you guys liked the video. Curious to hear, hear if any of you guys were able to pick it up. It only went live in Canada for like, I don't know, two hours before it sold out. So I'm curious to know how many of you guys were able to pick it up. Curious to know what you guys think. And as always, please subscribe.